Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas and let me tell you what happened today. So I ended up going to three Dollar Trees, the third of which the other day when I brought my son to the doctor and my mom came with me and we were driving back and she was like mid-sentence talking to me and I was like, you know, a distracted dog with like squirrel. Like that's what I, I pointed to it and I was like, what is that? This huge freestanding Dollar Tree and she just rolled her eyes at me because she doesn't understand. Um, but it is further east of me and I'm, I'm rarely ever further east of me because there's not much further east of me other than like Riverhead and the Hamptons. So um, that's why I never even noticed it and I had never been in it. But today I had to go east because I had to go out to the Indian Reservation to buy my cigarettes. So on the way back home I did make sure to swing in there. And I was pretty happy. Um, you know, not the greatest, but now I have like $13 trees that I will put on a rotation. Not regularly, obviously, because they're all very far apart from each other. If you take one to the other, like extreme, they're very far from each other. So what I'm going to do is try to get through the first two Dollar Trees in this haul, and then I will post the third Dollar Tree as a haul all by itself tomorrow. That's the plan. Uh, hopefully we can get through this in a decent amount of time. Um, it should be okay. But the third one is rather large. I did spend, I did spend like $80. Um, but there are many multiples, so you'll see that you know how that can happen very easily. Um, but yeah, found some cool stuff and I'm not even gonna label it like part one and part two because in my experience that doesn't go so well with views and people seeing it all so I'm just gonna release it as a Dollar Tree of the day and then a Dollar Tree of a uh, I'm sorry a Dollar Tree haul of a day and then a Dollar Tree haul of another day um, so I've rambled way longer than I normally do so let's just jump right in sorry for the two minutes of talking okay so I'm gonna do it by store um, First, if you are watching me and following me, you know that I'm staying at my mom's and I'm half everywhere. I don't know where half her stuff is. It's just really hard. Um, so some necessities. I picked up a box of tissues because I don't know where she keeps her extras if she has any. I bought four big of gallons of the uh, Crystal Geyser water because she has a water filter in her fridge and it takes forever to fill and I don't want to deal with it. So I picked up four of those. Um, then I don't have any of my bottles here because they're all at my house. So I picked up two more of the Life Waters. I got the pretty butterfly mask one that I liked so much. And then I got the one with the tree as well. So really just necessities. Then I picked up two packs of these three three count of the this like blue it's hard to see in the light but they are blue these woven trinkets to give to one of my aunts and my uncles as part of something for their Christmas present I just think they're they're so pretty and I had found one random pack once mm, and it was in my aunt's package and I don't think it made it I'm not really sure You'll see. There's going to be a video of my aunt opening her housewarming gift. You're finally going to get to meet the other thrifty diva. And you'll see what the condition of the box was when it arrived to her for like $39 shipping. Okay, let's not even talk about it. Anyway, then I found these Sesame Street Hushables Unscented Nosy Wipes. You get 40 of them in here. Now I picked these up because those are all they had and I wanted ones that I saw Amy from Mom and on the Cheap haul, but they didn't have them. However, that changed in that third Dollar Tree. Then every store seemed to have a fresh batch of these metal spoon rests and also the white melamine spoon rests, but I opted for this one because I thought it just kind of looked fancier. So we'll see how that works and how well that holds up then I had hauled this home bright um, compressed gas electronics duster before but then I was like you know what I should pick up some more so I went ahead and picked up three more of those not only for cleaning electronics but then I also realized 
you can use this for drying things. You can use this for drying um, glues and stuff as you're working with things, or even cakes. Um, some of the edible sugar that you glue things with, gluing sugar. So I just figured I would pick those up for multiple uses and for a dollar it's great. Then I found some more of the knives that I like so much. I decided I'm going to replace my set as well. So this one particular store only had these colors left and that's that. Okay, then, yeah, this store's gonna go by quickly. Then I found this, pardon, now we have two dogs. Then I found this really nice book called Desserts Express, 100 sweet treats you can make in 30 minutes or less, and it retails for $17.95 US. great great book so I picked up all that they had which was four of them and one for me for sure one for a Christmas present at least one for a Christmas present and then I might throw one in a giveaway so keep your eye out for these pop-up giveaways which will be happening more regularly coming up very very soon and then I found this to send to one of my best friends um, as part of her Christmas present. This is true and constant. Oh wait, no, this is wrong. That's a lie. This is for my mother. Um, true and constant friends, love and inspiration from our grandmothers, mothers, and friends. And it just seems really, really nice. It says a tribute to friendship and to the mothers and grandmothers who are our first and most significant source of love. They inspire, encourage, and mold the people we become. This lovely gift book also features works of art created by the women of Homefront Family Preservation Center and the wise words of female authors and poets. So I think my mom would enjoy that. I might even save that for Mother's Day or something, who knows. Then I pick this up for my son, this Paw Patrol coloring book, just because he needs some more things at my mom's. I tried to bring some, but it's a, it's a very, it's a big change. <laughs> you know, when he's used to having, we're all used to him having his stuff here. So it's very difficult right now. Then I found this really pretty tote bag. It is black and plasticky shiny on the back. And then like that thin, material so that means it's probably not that strong the bottom is also that thin material but it says you can change the world so i got one for myself and then i got um one for a gift and probably one for a giveaway as well and the very last thing from that first store i found I was pleasantly surprised to find this shirt in their shirts. I actually grabbed it while the cashier was ringing me up. So this is uh, Just My Size by Hanes. And it does happen to be a 4X, which is a 26, 28 women's. So it's too big on me but again even for a night shirt in the winter or whatever but kind of different than what you normally see at Dollar Tree so first it's long sleeve secondly it has a design on it so I just picked that up because it looked so nice and cozy um, and then these imperfections that it's showing where were those stickers where are the stickers there we go. The imperfection that it's showing is this. And honestly, to me, it might be a little bleached, but it almost feels crusty. So I feel like some of that can even wash out, but that's the only imperfection on the whole shirt. A dollar. Yeah. Had to get it. All right. So that's the end of that first store. 
And if you don't mind, I think I'm going to open up one of these. All right, store number two. So this is the store that I happen to pick up a lot of Halloween stuff at. So I was really excited about that. I picked up a three pack of the Scooby Graham snacks shaped like dog bones for my son. Now I've heard people say that they've gotten four in here. I just want to check. No, it's three. <laughs> I got three. Okay. Then I got these. Now I've hauled the hot pink ones before. I hauled three of the hot pink ones and I haven't used them yet because I'm saving them for work, but I want to actually stagger the hot pink and the purple and make a five high um, paper organizer. So love it. Then I also got this two pack of hot pink baskets for drawer organization again for when I start work. Then Anna at Only In My Dreams, I'm sure you've checked her out already, but if you have not, please go over and tell her that Theoni sent, well, Thrifty Divas, Theoni sent you over. So she pointed out that she found the four ounce metal can of black pepper. I hold the two ounce can of black pepper about a month ago and I got it simply because it was a can. I already had a two ounce plastic container of it. I didn't need it, but I was like, can, oh my God, it reminds me of my childhood. So I picked that up. Now they have a four ounce. So for a dollar, that is amazing. And I went ahead and I grabbed two because I could even give one to my mom. Um, yeah, so double what you got just a month ago for a dollar. Um, and it does not expire until 2022 she so got June so you got two years on it then I found this four pack of cups which I thought was a great price and it says eat drink and be scary and I love them and I definitely want to have them around during the whole Halloween time then I found this what is it called exactly red heart boutique ribbons and it looks like this and this is going to end up being part of a halloween wreath that i'm going to attempt and i will absolutely film it for you so i did get two bundles of that and it is 42 yards wow 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 so yes i picked that up for a halloween wreath and here is the second four ounce black pepper okay now we should be getting deeper in to the halloween stuff i think for the most part what has been coming out is leftovers from last year but that's okay I know I know the new things that I want to get so that's fine so I picked up another one of these strobe LED lights for inside the pumpkin it takes two AAA batteries we love these at my house um, and we do a lot of of jack-o-lanterns so we need multiple ones I think we only have two right now um, and we kind of fight over them. So I went ahead and picked up another one. It changes colors. Um, does it? Yeah, it has three different color bulbs on it and it's strobes. Uh, I highly recommend these for jack-o'-lanterns if you have never used them. Then I picked up this beautiful black glitter, glittery happy Halloween sign and I love the font and I love the glitter and I just love the look of that. So I grabbed that. Then I got this as part of a DIY to see if it'll work. If not, I have a plan B. 
which you always have to have, but that's that. Then I was thinking shelf. So my magic shelf, that's just what I'm gonna call it from here on in, um, I know the look I want of it for Halloween. So I guess I have to do the Halloween stuff first and then I'll switch it to fall because I have the two different looks for that. I'm gonna have to be doing it like all the time. And right now it's pretty barren because I missed all the summer stuff. I have a couple of like the welcome home cactuses and stuff up there right now, but that's about it. But I picked up this creepy cloth, they call it, and I'm going to attempt to use this in the shell. Oh no, mosquito, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to use this in my shelf decoration as well. I have a lot of ideas in my head, so we'll see. Oh, and I found it. So I just got one because I didn't want to go too matchy matchy, but I also think that this plaid or buffalo check or whatever you want to call it, and I hauled the oven mitt and the pot holders um, yesterday, I think it was, I lose track. Uh, this will also go really well with the sunflower stuff the towels that I hold for the fall to save for the fall. I think it would go really nicely together. So I picked that up, got my son another sippy bowl to have here um, at my mom's, cause he doesn't. Then I was hoping to find the Jurassic World napkins that Amy from Mom and on the Cheap holds, and I didn't, but I did find these Finding Dory ones. You only get three. Um, and for some reason, they are, the, every pack they had was sticky and disgusting and greasy and I don't even know, but it's pretty nasty. Then I bought, while I can find it, pink and black paper shreds. And this is to mix and put at the base for my um, juicy couture little bath sets that I hauled from Holler. So I think that'll go really nice together at the bottom. Then I also picked up this eight pack of skulls, again, for my shelf. I picked up this bat, part of the shelf idea. We'll see how it works. Can you please stop, honey? Then I found one again, lone, 297 piece of I think the nicest planner sticker set I have ever in my life seen at Dollar Tree and this is Greenbrier. Don't open that. You have the diamonds, you have Miracle, the unicorns, let's, I'm sorry, I'm reading it backwards, unicorn, let's be unicorns, happiness, you have the ice creams, you have the rainbows, you have these down here. And then you get this page. This page, look, the coffees, the donuts. Bless you. Weekend, the don't forget, the days of the week. Indeed. Oh, thank you, honey. Yes. That's garbage. Okay. And then I picked up two, I found these over here now. Two of this Kashi organic blueberry clusters. It is 1.9 ounces each. And I did pick up two packs of that. And then I picked up two packs of these. This is 2.5 ounces each. The Kellogg's um, Frosted Mini Wheats. And then I got a whole bunch of blank cards. Again, a lot, but this video is too long to go through them. Um, just some really cute ones. Let me just show you one. Okay, mosquitoes. So annoying. So yeah, picked up some pretty cute blank cards and some repeat buys. You know, just when I want to throw a special one in there instead of the ones from the packs. 
I tried to move it. The light was getting all funky. I apologize. Mother Nature, I'm outside. Um, so I picked up this pumpkin decoration kit for my son. It says you can decorate four pumpkins with this. And it is felt pieces and some little pipe cleaner pieces, it looks like. So those are the four that you can make. So instead of carving, he can do this this year and I think he'll enjoy that a lot. Then the other day when I was at a store, they only had one of these and I picked it up, but today I picked up another one. It's a glow in the dark skeleton arm. And in case you missed that, um, it does have a lawn stake, like a yard, you know, dirt stake that you put in the bottom and you can stick it up so it looks like they're coming out of the ground. And now I'm happy I have two and maybe, and I know I can buy a skull and then maybe I'll be lucky and find feet. I don't know, but we'll keep going. Then I got salad tongs. Y'all, this doesn't have to be for Halloween. This is like everyday stuff at my house if I had it my way. So they're skeleton hand salad tongs. And yeah, I love them, love them. My husband's like all serious, but if it was up to me, like my whole house and like all of my stuff in every room would be like this all the time. Not even kidding. Then I really, really wanted this. I was seeing this in people's walkthroughs, like they came out new again this year. Um, these are, you could tell from the way they were just like thrown and dusty and just, these are from last year, but I don't care. Tomato, tomato, and I wanted these for my shelves badly my shelf the magic shelf um it just goes perfectly again with the the look i have in my head um so yeah they're on these beautiful black and gold pedestals they are plastic but they're they're beautiful and then there's the skull okay then i got two more beautiful pieces again left over from last year I got this glittery light up skull and I was lucky enough to find one that had the tag still in there. So it's like brand new. So I got that and I also made sure to, to um, check that it sits flat because a lot of their skull stuff does not. And a lot of their light up pumpkins and stuff do not. So if you wanna sit these somewhere flat, make sure they sit flat because some of them don't and I don't want you to go home and be unhappy. Um, but so, yeah he's got clear eyes you know Ugh, hot glue everywhere and then i got this owl i kind of wish the owl had clear lights too i think it would have looked a little less cheesy but i just thought this black glittery owl was gorgeous as well and it took me forever to find one that still had a tab in it and whose like skin was not peeling off because again like i said these are from last year so they'll probably be back this year and they also came in purple and orange both of these but black is what i wanted then i found getting down to the last bits here guys not too bad not too bad then i found this two pack of velvety spiders. They had some other colors, I don't remember, but they were like really fake, you know, like purple and things like that. And they had uh, single packs that were bigger, but I thought this was a good size and you get two for a dollar. They are velvety and I liked the brown with the black, um, black with the brown, because I think it just looks a little more realistic and less like comical. So that's gonna be part of my, uh, DIY in my head as well. Hold on, sweetheart. One second. Mommy's almost done. Uh, just one second. Uh, two more things I got to show. Somebody woke up from their nap. Um, I found these two lone ones left over from last year as well. So I picked them up. This black sparkly striped one and this orange all over sparkly one. And this they are all wrinkled but this will be perfect because i have two gorgeous placemats at home that are halloween decorated and they're one second they're black based but they do have the orange design so two of those two of these i'm just gonna do like a little semi tablescape with that and we'll be done and the very last thing in this haul i found this 
under, under, under like placemats and towels and all that in the kitchen section next to the knives and silverware. This is a box where the top slides off like this. It's called the wine deck. It is from chroniclebooks.com and it retailed for $14.95 US. That's probably never going to focus for you, but that's what it says. So it says chroniclebooks.com and $14.95 US. So this says 50 ways to choose, serve, and enjoy great wines. Um, and it says, are you curious about wine but can't tell the difference between a Pinot Noir and a Sangiovese, a Chenin Blanc and a Chardonnay? These cards describe over 40 wine varietals, including information on taste, reputation, origin, and perfect food pairings. So I'm gonna give this as a gift, um, probably to one of my aunts, uh, maybe with a bottle of wine. Oh no, you know what? I ordered from Wish a beautiful, um, wine aerator top where it actually aerates as it pours i think i might just pair that with this and that would be a really pretty gift so great great buy i could i was that's why you gotta dig you gotta dig you never know what you're gonna find or when this came from could have been 10 years ago you don't know so that is that haul guys so that is two stores and that will be today's haul and then tomorrow's haul will be the third store so stay tuned because there's a lot of great stuff going on there's a lot of giveaways coming up you will see my aunt you know the other thrifty divas uh, virgin premiere um, as she opens the housewarming box that I sent her to Texas to her new home um, and a lot of other surprises so stay tuned um, you guys are awesome and if you are not a subscriber yet we would love for you to hit that subscribe button because we all have a lot of fun here um, and I'd love for you to become a permanent part of the thrifty divas family so until the next video stay blessed my friends I have to take care of um, a little somebody who just woke up all right so thank you for watching see y'all very soon